Diabetes isn't just one disease, it's a complex spectrum of conditions that affect millions worldwide. It's crucial to understand that diabetes manifests differently in various individuals. It's a group of conditions with high blood sugar in common, but the reasons behind that high blood sugar can vary significantly. Each type has its own unique characteristics and requires a tailored approach to management. Type 1 is an autoimmune disease, a condition where the body's immune system mistakenly attacks its own healthy cells. In type 1 diabetes the body destroys insulin-producing cells in the pancreas, usually starting in childhood or adolescence. This destruction leads to a severe lack of insulin. People with type 1 need daily insulin to survive, as their bodies are unable to produce this essential hormone on their own. Insulin injections or pump therapy become a lifelong necessity. Type 2 is much more common, accounting for the vast majority of diabetes cases worldwide. Type 2 starts with insulin resistance, a state where the body's cells don't respond properly to insulin. In this case, your body makes insulin but your cells ignore it, preventing glucose from entering and providing energy. Over time, the pancreas can't keep up with the increased demand for insulin, and blood sugar rises to unhealthy levels. Type 2 is strongly linked to lifestyle factors such as weight, diet, and physical activity. Making positive changes in these areas can significantly impact blood sugar control. Gestational diabetes develops during pregnancy typically in the later stages. Gestational diabetes usually goes away after birth, as hormone levels return to normal. However, gestational diabetes is a warning sign for future risk of developing type 2 diabetes later in life for both the mother and the child. Managing gestational diabetes through diet, exercise, and sometimes medication is vital for both mother and baby's health during pregnancy. Knowing the specific type of diabetes is crucial because it helps guide treatment strategies and prevention efforts. Understanding these differences empowers you to take the right steps toward managing your health and preventing complications associated with diabetes.